Hi sewing friends, I'm Karina from Lifting Pins and Needles. Welcome to my channel and I am super, super excited about this video because I have a refashion, yay! So um, up until last year, I was refashioning all the time. Like I was always refashioning and it's such a creative thing um, when you can see the potential of a garment and see what else it could be or how you could make it better or how you can make it suit you or just totally start from scratch and use the, that as fabric, you know, like deconstruct the whole thing, put pattern pieces or whatever. So the way I like to refashion is using patterns. So I'm not the one that will trace out t-shirts and that sort of thing. I mean, for me, I, I wouldn't have a good result with that, you know, because of curves and stuff, you need to get a good fit, you know? So um, I bought these really, really crazy pants in Bolivia thinking that they would have some potential, but at the time I wasn't really sure how I would, like what I would use this for, you know? So, um, I did deconstruct them before coming over here so all I brought were pieces of fabric and things so um, I have found the picture of the item I found, I, I found in the market and I'll insert the picture here I've already shown it in my plans but it's basically wide legged pants the pants are made out of crepe and they come in two layers so basically I have four legs to work with and the size was a I, I, I don't remember the size but very wide like I had a lot of fabric to work with and that really weird cape there like I would not like I could not wear pants like that to go out like there's no way <laughs> but hey I thought that amount of pleated fabric is awesome like I, I don't know what what I was gonna make I didn't know how I would incorporate it into like a skirt a dress I have I didn't know but I did bring it with me and um, I have bought some magazines uh, Spanish sewing magazines they sell here called Patrones and I was just browsing through and um, as soon as I saw a garment there I remembered my pants oh so <laughs> because I'm not showing you sewing techniques in this video I'm gonna use a few minutes and show you this magazine just so you can just for entertainment value maybe you're not the magazine type of person but for me it's really attractive that one magazine has like a hundred plus patterns and I love them so I'm going to show you this specific magazine just a quick browse through and how I found my inspiration for this refashion so that's coming in now thought you might enjoy looking at this different fashion magazine with 120 patterns so this is Padrones which is a Spanish magazine from Spain I think they do have translations to other languages I'm not sure which ones um, then there's like other things skirts and jackets but there's one specific item in this magazine that really inspired me uh, to make this refashion I think that dress is really interesting it's um, like a four wrap dress. It's got like a thing on the front. Um, I might insert a line drawing so you can see what I mean. I like that dress. Some pants, skirts, shirts. These are Jean Paul Gaultier knockoffs as well, designs. Um, yeah, Prada. <laughs> That's what they do. I really think it's cool though that you can make. Um, designer things from the magazine this jacket I really really like I really want to make this jacket um, it's um, Jones New York inspired I guess from there um, I'll insert a line drawing but that's not what this make is about here we have some Chanel inspired that dress I would never make anything like that anyway this is the piece this is the one and I'm going to try to uh, close up on the image there so I'm not sure if you're actually going to see properly but it's um, from what I can see is made out of a, like a crepe something she and at the bottom uh, from the waist down it's got that pleated type of fabric um, yeah it's got sleeves I don't really care about the sleeves but it looks like some sort of overdress or like duster um, anyway the line drawings here really clarified it for me here 
so it's just a back on the fold two fronts with a side a bust dart some bands and well the sleeve omit that and then just basically two rectangles for the front and the back made out of already like pleated fabric i thought i can definitely make this but not using this pattern so this is just my inspiration so i mean i showed you beta in the flip through but there is that woman wearing that really elegant sort of thing made out of a look you can see there the pleated detail on the back on the close up there and I mean, that, that is the resource I had from these pants that I bought in the markets. So, um, you saw my red duster from last month, right? That long duster thing. So the pattern was already done. Like I didn't need to do anything with the pattern. I had the pattern. I just had to adapt some, some things to make what I wanted and to incorporate that pleated thing on the back. So halfway through making this and before attaching everything you know i am going to show you um how this is going to look so that's what's coming in now so this is my back piece of my duster pattern that i already made you've seen that red one i made um and so i'm just gonna cut here at my natural waist where that that the middle of that 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 is actually my natural waist height i'm gonna cut there and that will be my top piece for the back and then I'm going to add on one centimeter seam allowance onto the fabric and that will be my back piece. At the bottom of the duster is going to be this pleated thing. So look at this. It's exactly like that picture. It's already pleated. It's already hemmed. It's already pleated on the top. Um, I've measured it and it's exactly the width that I need it to go attached onto the top part of my back piece. So yeah, it'll be a very long duster and this is going to be the main feature of it and it's going to go in the back. Now this is my front part of my pattern. I've already worked with this. It's got a French dart there to the side and because I want to get my front pattern piece out of a pant leg, I don't have the width, you know, this way to do the French dart. So I'm going to transform this into a side bust dart. So as you can see here, from the point there of my dart, I've just drawn a line horizontally, 90 degrees. I know it's 90 degrees because I've got my paper on my cutting board, so I can see the lines under there and it's a straight line. All I'm going to do is cut this up to that point, And then I'm going to close this dart. You know the lines just put them together pretend i'm closing it up to the tip but automatically i've opened up a side bust start there and that is my new pattern piece for the front so i've cut this also at my natural waist and i'm going to attach another piece of fabric here uh, from the pants as well so basically the, this duster is going to have a waist seam all the way around from the front all the way to the back side buster the same band as my red duster the same exact band and collar remember this this top part of my pattern is the florence dress with the collar the body is the Vada dress that I've removed the French dart and made it into a side bust dart so that this can fit on a pant leg. And yeah, that's all the, the modifications really. This is what I've done so far. This is my back piece for my duster. I had to do a middle seam there because I'm, remember I'm getting these out of pant legs. So there was no way I was going to get this width on the fold. There are my little darts there uh, for the back. I've already attached the shoulder seams on the top. I've already done all the collar, the band here. This is the front. So you can see how long it is. This is all the front piece. It goes all the way down to there. Here is that waist seam that I talked about uh, that I was gonna modify my pattern. I also had to do a seam there on the band that matches that waist seam because there was no way I could get the whole length of this band without having an extra seam because the pants were not that long. This pleated business, I need to uh, baste onto this and attach on. Once I have that, I can start doing the side seams up to a certain point. And I'm also going to leave um, quite a big slit on the sides just to give this piece of movement. 
and yeah this is going to be quite long quite a long piece i'm very excited to wear this cool so when i showed the red duster i filmed the collar the collar part and i'd actually lost some footage but because i was making this again i filmed it really quickly just the collar part because i had all the rest to do so i could have a complete video <laughs> on the red one but basically the construction was the same it's the same duster basically but it looks really different so it has the same collar same collar piece i also did the interlining there that's why it looks darker than you know it's a little bit she and you saw how i decided to cut cut at the waist there so there are seams on the waistline there in the front and in the back is what i love so i'll take that away so you can see through the transparency look at all those pleats now this was pre-pleated i didn't need to do anything and it already had like a basting stitch on the top and the width of this pleated fabric because it was on the back of pants it was exactly the width i needed for this duster <laughs> it was just perfect um i had like a one centimeter seam allowance you know and um i decided to go with the full length of the pleat so the pleats it's like long 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 and i left the original hem of this piece so that that's the original hem i didn't need to like fiddle with it and like do another another you know so basically i got all the rest of the pieces from the pants uh, I have a picture here of what's left of uh, <laughs> one side of the pants. I have one leg left. So I got out of three legs um, all the pattern pieces. That's why I had a seam there so I can fit them from pants. Uh, here too is cut at the waist so I can have enough here for the bottom. And the band, um, I did do a, a seam there. If you can see, it matches the seam from the waist there because there was no way I was getting it to be that long. So this is the longest thing I've ever had other than my wedding dress. I haven't worn like a long thing because, yeah, this is something that steps out of my comfort zone. But I could definitely see myself wearing this loads. So it's really hard to show it here. It's very long, you know. <laughs> but um i have taken a few pictures um the dress you see under here is me made as well it's like a bodycon i like those those dresses and if i have something like this nice and flowy to cover up so it doesn't seem that showy like i don't want to show that much of my curves yeah this is a perfect la layering piece so have a look at the pictures i had a lot of fun taking these and like trying to move around so you could see the swish you know so yeah that's coming in now this I love this so much <laughs> you don't know how much I love it um, um, I finished the insides there with bias binding and yeah you know how I do those because I've already shown you how I do those so this is my other duster it's awesome I love it because it's different it's a refashion it's got that awesome pleated thing at the back uh, it's got the long slits um, yeah just everything i ever hoped for and i am really happy i got that sewing magazine because or else i wouldn't have had the inspiration um to make this i would have had these pieces of pants locked tucked in this box i have full of stuff and i wouldn't have made anything soon anyway so even though i'm not using this magazine for the pattern i did it was very useful for the inspiration to make this so i hope you enjoyed watching this was super fun to make super fun you don't know how fun this was and how satisfying actually <laughs> so um yeah i'm just gonna put it on you know <laughs> um yeah th this will go over anything jeans you know tights dresses whatever and i want to glam it up uh yeah you can't see because the the walls right there 
So that is all for now. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't. And remember to hit the notification bell so you never miss a sewing tip or inspiration from me. <laughs> Bye, see you.